Hey guys, it is Andrea Chalmers here. If you are joining me in on this video today, you are here to learn more about online businesses. Maybe you have an online business already, or maybe you are brand new, looking, looking around, don't know what to do, skeptical, don't know if you're gonna make money, lose money, what? You know, it's a, it's a new world. Uh, it's been around for a while, but it's more and more people are obviously coming into the online space than uh, what are we in? We're in July, 2020. We've just gone through probably one of the craziest years we'll ever experience on a global basis and more truth than ever are coming out and a lot of people um, are shifting over into the online space because job security just isn't really secure anymore and uh, the unknown is we don't know what's going on and a lot of people are shifting into the online space because it's something that we can do from home no matter what's going on in the world. Uh, so. I'm gonna share with you guys a few slides here. I'm gonna make this as value packed as possible. So if you have a pen handy, get a pen handy. Um, if you need to watch this video again, this is going to give you so much insight in behind the scenes of online businesses um, with my experience and so that you can actually go and take from my experience and uh, figure out what works best for you. For you, if you're looking for an extra stream of income, maybe you already have an online business and maybe you're looking for another stream of income or making a shift. Maybe you're just not making as much money as you'd like to and you wanna see what other opportunities are out there. So we're gonna touch on all of this kind of stuff right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen with you. And we're gonna go into some slides. And first, first and foremost, I'm gonna share a little bit about myself here. So that's me, Andrea Chalmers, right here. Um, we're going to go ahead and fill out the whole screen here. Okay. So which online business models prov provide the most long-term freedom and impact? So for me, this is what's most important. And I believe most people that are looking for an alternative to their job are looking to have more freedom of some sense, either financial or time freedom. Or if you're like me, you want both of them and you want to be able to make an impact in the world. So if if this, if all three of those are you, then me and you are gonna get along really well. So I'm gonna give you a little bit of my background here. So um, I've been in the online space for almost six years now. Prior to that, I worked in the automotive industry for 11 years, climbed the corporate ladder, did all of that kind of stuff, worked 11 hour shifts. Um, this was all prior to me having kids. Uh, got to a point where I was so stressed out every single day coming home, drinking, um, <laughs> drinking myself basically to sleep, getting up, doing it all over again. And one day I said, enough was enough. I don't want to live this life for the rest of my life. I'm going to make myself completely open to other opportunities because I do not want to be stuck in this rut for the rest of my life. I was working around people that had been work doing the exact same job as me for 50 years and it's just seeing the life sucked out of people. I didn't want it for myself. You know, I didn't want it for many people. And the thing is, like, if I was going to save other people, I had to save myself first so I could show people the way. And uh, so I'm going to go over a few things here of that I've gone into, gone into over the years that I've implemented into the online space. So network marketing. Network marketing is huge. It's something people have all heard about by now. It's been around since... I don't, I'm pretty sure the seventies since Jim Rohn, if you know who Jim Rohn was, he was the, uh, he's an amazing motivational speaker that passed away uh, years ago. But uh, network marketing was, I think like the entryway for people to release um, any average person to be able to make a significant amount of money uh, if, as an alternative to working a job. So done network marketing, direct and affiliate sales. I'm going to touch on that just a little bit um, because a lot of it ties into um, what I'm going to be talking about, what I'm going to really be honing in on. So we're just going to talk about a little bit of variation. So direct sales and affiliate sales is usually where um, I make a sale. Like say I sell to you uh, something and I make a commission and, and that's it, right? So it's just like I refer something to you, I make a commission. It's kind of like a referral, right? Online coaching. So I've been an online coach. And so I'm going to leave out things like online coaching in the sense that I believe people need to have some sort of experience in the online space before they can get into online coaching because things like online coaching require marketing skills. Every single thing that I'm going to talk about today requires marketing skills. So it doesn't matter what you do in the online space. If you want people to see what you have to offer, whatever it is, you need to learn how to market. Uh, 
if you know about me, obviously I'm a coach inside Build Your Empire University where we teach people uh, very much empowering ways to market in a very ethical way where we teach people how to brand themselves versus throwing products at people, products and services at people. Anyways, so online coaching, I've done that. Drop shipping, if you know my story, uh, I started a drop shipping store, uh, I think it was like about a month after my daughter was born and I hit the top 3% in North America. Uh, for sales <laughs> and I totally exploded my business and that was my first experience ever with um, e-commerce or anything and I didn't realize how much time consuming it was going to be when my business exploded and I'm going to talk a little bit more about that in a minute here but uh, I realized it wasn't for me because I being a new mom I wanted as much time as possible and working 18 hours around the clock <laughs> on my store was just like not what I wanted. I actually kind of got myself into a depression because I, it, I wanted time and financial and impact um, all three of those things and I was making a lot of money and it, but I had no time and I, I felt like I wasn't really making any significant impact other than in, in my direct family's life with the money that I was bringing in. Um, so I've been an e-commerce sh store developer. Shopify had connected with me when my store blew up and asked if I wanted to be a developer for them. So I have, I've done that for a few years um, on and off. It's something I don't mind doing every once in a while. It's fun to just kind of go back there and play around. The, the, the platform itself is actually really cool. But as uh, like my, my business, it's just not my thing. Uh, website developer, another thing that's kind of fun to play around with. I uh, did that I've, uh, years ago. I uh, don't do it anymore. It's too time consuming for me. And then hybrid direct sales. So this is high ticket sales. And we're going to talk about that as well. So there's a difference between low ticket sales and high ticket sales. So we're going to I'm going to dive into everything. So this is, you guys are going to get it all because this is the thing when you go in the online space, people like um, gurus and all of that, they're usually uh, experts in one thing and they don't really know a whole lot about another world another side of things so they really don't know the contrast of what um, what else is out there so they're just steering people on just an, an opinion that they've never really dove into anything else so I'm gonna give you guys as much insight as possible for for myself because there's pros and cons to everything and um, ultimately if you're looking for what I'm looking for the time financial impact freedom then it's going to be a real eye-opener it's going to educate you exactly where you want to go and if you're just looking for a side hustle you're going to see how you can have an easy side hustle um, things that I'm not going to talk about here like obviously we there's a lot of people talking about Forex and crypto um, the reason I'm not going to talk about that inside any of this today is because I believe cryptocurrency and Forex is meant for people that have the means to uh, just invest. If you're already creating several streams of income, you have a very um, attractive income stream coming in, then yeah, then you can go and gamble your money. But I, this video is not intended to um, have people gamble their money. I want to show people how uh, real uh, the businesses where you can actually be making money. It's not a matter of, uh, a, you know, the uncertainty. I want to show you guys certain ways that you can actually make money. Uh, so yeah, let's dive right into it. We're going to talk about e-commerce first. Um, before that, uh, so one model, obviously for me, um, that I hone in on the most um, that has created the most time and financial freedom. I'm going to go over with you guys as well what's worked for me because it might work for you too. It might not. Uh, it might be for you. It might not be. But we're going to go into it because that's for me. I've been able to help um, obviously my family and thousands of other people um, be able to use the same plat uh, same business, same platform, all of that stuff. And I can walk people step by step through it. So for me, it's worked for me. I'm going to show you guys. Um, why it's worked for me and uh, yeah so first we're gonna go into e-commerce so e the e-commerce drop shipping all the same kind of thing Amazon Shopify eBay all of that kind of stuff independent stores all of the same kind of deal so what I'm gonna say to you guys here before I go through all the pros and cons here um, I went into e-commerce and I started my store from scratch I built it from scratch and so I took the um, the way where I obviously, when I built my store, I was the store builder. I was the front end person. I was the back end person. I was the marketer. I was the customer service. I did it all. So if you guys are looking into e-commerce and kind of like the whole Forex and crypto thing, if you have money to invest, 
um, and have somebody run the store for you, that is a great alternative if you want time and financial freedom because with e-commerce and drop shipping, unless you uh, don't care about working around the clock, it's going to be very tricky to uh, ever create time freedom for yourself unless you're hiring people. In that sense, I think it makes the most sense to hire a firm to run your business for you. Yes, it, it costs money to start your business. Um, if you have questions about it, I know an amazing firm, uh, a guy from Florida, he's been featured on Fox, Yahoo, all of that, that um, is great at building stores. Get a return in your uh, business, your um, initial investment, usually within your first six to 12 months. So if that is something you're looking for, let me know. I'm going to talk to you guys here about my experience with dropshipping and e-commerce. So the pros to it, there's no recruiting. So um, in the sense of a lot of online businesses where you need to basically attract people into your business, you really don't need to. You just need to have people purchase from you, right? Um, so you're not like recruiting a team or anything. There's no sort of like qualifications. You are the owner, right? The owner of your store. So you earn a hundred percent commission. Um, you earn a hundred percent of your commissions providing you're running the store yourself, right? So as if you are, you built the store, you're running it yourself. You're earning a hundred percent of your margin commissions. Uh, it's global market, right? You can go and basically market to the entire world. So we have, how many people are, there's 3 billion people on uh, social media. So, you know, the, the, <laughs> the market's endless. Cheap startup costs, right? For me, getting started in Shopify, I want to say it's about $30 a month plus plugins and stuff like that, uh, depending what it is that you need. Uh, so it's really cheap to start up. It's cool to kind of play around with it. You learn a lot of really cool things um, and you get to leverage automation. There's a lot of automated stuff that you can just plug right into. The cons to it, no leveraging other people's efforts unless you're paying them. So like you're not working in a team atmosphere. You're not making money off of anybody else. You're kind of like a one man show. It can be lonely. I think that's why I started to fall kind of like in a depression when I was doing it because I wasn't connecting with people. Um, I came from already having like massive network marketing businesses and working in teams and like empowering other people and being a leader and stuff to like working on my own, <laughs> like being like a hermit. It was, it was a massive shift. And uh, so for me, it was, uh, not for me if you absolutely don't like talking to people or anything like that then it's something definitely not a problem for you so cost of potential returns and loss shipping now I dealt with this a lot more than I ever anticipated uh, I was dealing with uh, suppliers from China and a lot of drop shipping companies or stores deal with suppliers from uh, manufacturers from China and you know that's a long ways away and shit gets lost and having to deal with things that are defective and all of that and having to deal with all of it so it really can affect your bottom line and it takes a lot more time than really net like then you really want to be putting in because now you're the customer complaint person as well uh, the more you scale, the more time is required for your business to run smoothly, right? You're put, bringing in a thousand sales a day. Obviously, somebody needs to process them, make sure everything's following through. The more sales you put through, the more questions you're going to have, like, where the hell's my product? And all of that kind of fun stuff. Um, high monthly marketing investment. Now, it's no secret that obviously the online space is saturated. It's very much competitive with stuff that's for sale that we can purchase online between Amazon and all of that. You got to think on Amazon, there's thousands of individual store owners. They're all individually owned by people and everybody's wanting to uh, make a profit or have their store kind of stand out of the crowd. So normally what happens is you need to have your numbers, the low, whoever has the lowest margins wins. Who's been on Amazon before? And you go through and you see like maybe like 30, 40 of the exact same thing. Well, there's no difference other than the price. So whoever is charging the least amount usually is the person who is going to um, get the sale. So in the other case, right, and if you're starting up a store, like an individual store, like through Shopify and having it very much custom then yeah, you're going to want to be investing in marketing because you need to get eyeballs on your product or nobody's going to buy them. So yeah, you need to have a, a marketing um, budget in hand. Uh, payment, processing fees, platform fees, plugin fees. Uh, so things like uh, every time you have a purchase, you make a purchase or you make a sale, uh, say you're using PayPal or Amazon or Shopify, 
they take a portion, right? Just kind of like a credit card. They'll take a, a portion of whatever you make as a fee. Uh, so those are all things that you need to factor in as well. And currency exchanges and all of the behind the scenes things with taxes are all things that you need to know about if you're running a store on your own. So no mentorship and no team support. So this is the thing is it's a one man show unless you're hiring people. And then if you wanna hire a mentor, then you can do that. But when you get into online stores, if you're doing it on your own, you're on your own. So we're gonna leave it at that. Like I said, if you guys have questions about how to invest in getting a store start up for you, please connect with me. I'll connect you with the right people. Um, I have seen people lose money in having people start up their stores. So it's really important to go with somebody who is very much credible and has had a lot of success and has been, has a, a lot of um, experience in what they're doing. So uh, you can feel free to connect with me on that and I'll gladly direct you to the right people. So let's talk about here. We're going to get into network marketing MLM. So network marketing MLM was very popular in the 70s, 80s, 90s, right? Uh, in the sense of home parties and going door to door and basically recruiting every, every single person you've ever met ever about your business or your product or whatever, right? But now that we're like in 2020, like 2020, we're in 2020, most of it's done online now. But the thing is, in the online space, uh, a whole lot of things haven't shifted it in the sense of network marketing. They still use a lot of the same uh, marketing tactics. So uh, in the sense of, you know, uh, sending people messages of like about your product and service and whatever, right? Kind of like people see it as a way as like harassing, right? But anyways, so let's talk about this. So let's say the average MLM network marketing business on the low end is $500, right? A $500 buy-in fee, right? Most of them are going to have some sort of buy-in fee. Sometimes it's less, sometimes it's more. If it's free, run away. That means free. You never want to start anything in business that's free. That means you're not going to be making any money at all, uh, or it's going to be so extremely <laughs> difficult. You're going to be wasting your time. So always factor in the time effort that needs to be put in as well. If it's free, run away. Um, so we're going to go with the average here of $500. The average commission earned on a direct sale in network marketing is about 20%. So in a sense of say, you are just started a business and I bought something from you. I bought, I bought into the business for $500. You would make a hundred dollars from me. Does that make sense? 20% hundred dollars. So I know a lot of people that are in network marketing and MLM are going to uh, jump on this right now, especially if they're watching this video and say there's a million different ways that you can make money inside my business or inside my company with my comp plan. There's 50,000 different ways to earn a uh, commission. And that's nice. But it's also a way that these network marketing and MLM businesses dilute you from ever knowing what the bare bones are of making money. So we're going to go off of this as if there's no um, binary legs in your business. And if you don't know what that is, I'm going to explain it later. Um, so we're going to go, the binary legs, this makes it a lot more difficult to even achieve these numbers, but we're going to go off of this to make it very much easy to understand. So say this is um, just going to be your average network marketing, low ticket commissions on direct sales on what you put in. So a lot of people will bank on bringing in a rock star into their business that's going to do all the work for them and they never have to do anything. So the thing with that is if you're going to bring a rock star into your business, there's a good chance they are not going to be in very long because people realize now more than ever with the online space that uh, if they're not making enough money that they believe that they're worth inside of the business that you brought them into, they're going to go somewhere where they will get paid what they're worth. So let's just get dive right into this. So we're going to do this based off of the sales you would have to put in every single month. Okay. So $1,000 commission you want to earn, right? You got to make 10 sales a month. That's not too hard, right? The 10 sales a month, uh, it's achievable. You look at 10, you're like, ah, that's not, you know, I could probably do that, make a thousand dollars. And if that's what really attracts you, then, then you know what? Low ticket um, uh, network marketing is probably gonna be something that's 
decent for you, right? It, it's right. You can buy in really cheap, around five hundred dollars, uh, make ten sales a month, make a thousand bucks, pretty easy. So you want to make three thousand dollars a month, you need to make thirty sales. You know, getting a little harder, thirty sales, quite a bit. When you actually get into the game and you realize <laughs> how many people you really need to talk to, thirty to actually get thirty sales is quite a bit. Um, five thousand dollars a month, fifty sales, ten thousand dollars a month, a hundred sales, right? So it's a lot of sales that you need to make every single month to get to $10,000. Um, so with a closing rate of 10%, so say you talk to 10 people and one person purchases, um, you would need to talk to 1,000 people a month to earn $10,000. So we always need to think about this. When it comes down to business, business is a numbers game. I know so many people that get into network marketing and I did this before, so you can't say that <laughs> I'm attacking anybody because I did this too. They get into network marketing and they fall in love with their product. They become obsessed. They go on this weird fucking acid trip of their product has completely transformed their lives and everybody needs to know about it. And that's why it's okay to spam people and Right? Can you relate to this? You know, Karen down the street, she like finally can go back to Walmart again because she's taking her CBD oil and she no longer has anxiety stepping foot in Walmart, right? And she's just convinced that you need to be taking CBD too. The thing is, yeah, I take CBD. I love it. I have no problem supporting people in network marketing. If they have cool products that I want, then yeah, for sure, I'm going to, I'll buy from you. Um, but I'm not going to get all fucking weird about your product. Uh, and if you like your product, sure, bring it up here and there, but don't, you know, it's weird when people get like that. And I think it really scares a lot of people because it's like, I was going to try your product, but now I'm actually afraid because <laughs> I don't know the secret weight loss pill that, you know, you're claiming like, somebody that you know who knows somebody who knows somebody lost 200 pounds in 20 days uh you know by just sitting on the couch you're like i don't know like what's in this fucking pill you know what i mean right like we we all know these people that do it it's uh i don't encourage it we don't teach that <laughs> and build your empire university it's funny i did it i did it i worked for a company um where it was like a health product or a health drink and it was yeah I <laughs> turned it into this whole like you know the acid trip like oh my god it's totally transformed my life and then uh the novelty wore off really quickly it was like I don't know I was putting some good stuff in my body um after being like an alcoholic for years and then uh, <laughs> and then just changing my healthy life habits um I felt good no matter what so anyways uh, okay, so let's go back to this. So that means if you want to make $10,000 uh, a month, you would need to be talking to 30 people a day, creating 30 leads a day. And by no means, like I said, is that means spamming people. Spamming people means getting blocked or <laughs> blocked or people like reporting you for harassment. I mean, like actually creating real connections with people, having like valid conversations, seeing if your business and your product is something that aligns with them, being like a real leader and a mentor, right? Um, People don't want to work with people that cram things down their throat. And, it, and it's sad in this industry that a lot of people will purchase because somebody harasses them so much. And that's not cool. I'm not okay with that. Um, so basically, you need to be closing three to four people every single day in your business if you want to be making $10,000 a month. So this is where I'm going to kind of leave it on the money side of network marketing. Now, three to four people, that's a lot of people. I've never closed three to four people in one day in my entire life. I know people that and that have, but not on a daily basis, not every single day. So it's very difficult to do that. So let's go into the next slide here. The average retention rate, sorry, of an MLM distributor is 15 to 20% in the first year. So let's just go back to here for one second. Of all these people that you bring in, all your hustling, all your hard work, blood, sweat, and tears, crying on the pillow, why so many people are saying no, only 15 to 20% of these people are going to stick around a year from now. Uh, and in, in reality, uh, the number is in their first 90 days, they're going to quit. If they don't turn a profit from their initial investment, they're going to quit. And I'm going to show you guys the reasons why people quit. Because it's just, it's so important that you guys understand this. Um, inside of network marketing, 
I, and, and I love it because there's such a powerful personal development aspect to it that I would never discredit anybody that gets involved with it because you're going, the value you learn about learning to value yourself is so powerful. But the thing is you need to understand your numbers. If you need to be making $10,000 a month to be able to manifest your vision, your why, if you've ever been in a business like this before, that's the very first thing they're going to sell you on is your own vision of why you need this money. But the thing is, if the numbers are never going to add up, it doesn't matter what your fucking why is because it's not going to happen, right? If you need $25,000 to help um, your dad with his cancer bills that just keep piling up and you need to be making 250 sales every single month to be making $25,000, and that means you need to be working 76 hours a day <laughs> to make that happen. It's not going to happen. There's not 76 hours in a day, right? Bottom line. So over 95% of network marketers will end up spending more money to stay in business than they do making money. So let's go into the reasons why people quit and why people spend more money. So why do so many people ch uh, never achieve their MLM goals? I'm going to try to start talking really fast here so we don't waste you guys' this time here. Requirements, confusing compliance. We already talked about that. Stocking up on inventory. Uh, a lot of companies make you have products on hand, right? To be able to give out for samples and crap like that. Monthly qualification. So you need to be making so many sales in order to even get a commission. So with what I just showed you here, sometimes you don't even get anything because you didn't make your minimum requirement. Uh, maintaining rank. So um, in these businesses, there's lots of different ranks and you get paid based on the ranks that you hit. So if you don't hit that same rank every single time, you go back down to the bottom of the comp plan. Uh, mandatory auto shipments. This is where I know majority of people will quit. Um, in network marketing, majority of businesses, uh, companies have in place a mandatory auto shipment that varies from usually around $100 to $300 a month. Now, if you want to be earning your commissions, you need to have an auto shipment going. So that's why people scramble around. You hear them scramble like, hey, I need to make my quota so I can like get my commissions for this month or whatever, right? The thing is like they want, they need to get sales or they're going to be ending up spending way more money than they're going to be making. It's, it turns into this stressful, stressful, like uh, desperate, uncool marketing tactic because people are like wanting to make enough money to kind of, so they're not dumping a whole lot of money into their business uh, and not getting anything out of it. Uh, lineage dependent, uh, lineage dependent means uh, like being dependent on other people in your team to be able to get your commissions, binary requirements. That's what I just talked about here. I was in a, a network marketing company that had two different legs that you had to build. So I had a, one leg and a second leg and you always got paid out on your lesser leg. So me throwing five parties a week at my house, um, doing it online, doing it at, like at anywhere, anywhere and everywhere. Cause I wanted to have success. I wanted to leave my job. I wanted to, I wanted to have a family and I wanted to not be stuck at my job, stressed out, hating life. So I was doing anything that I could. So the thing was, I exploded one of my legs, but I was only ever getting paid out on my lesser leg. And as this was happening, people were dropping like flies from my business on both ends. And I was working around the clock. I was working 11 hour shifts and then having parties and then having all this going on, people leaving because they're paying $250 for auto shipments every single month. They're not making money. Um, all of these things kind of all came into place. And that is, um, for me, I was like, I would be fucking insane to stay in this company, uh, hoping to make $10,000 every single month. Like I was right in and around $10,000 every single month. But I was fucking working like a dog and, and doing things that didn't feel good. Um, wasn't in alignment with me. I was going off of what my mentor said uh, I needed to do, learn the hard way that <laughs> this is not the, this probably all worked back in the 70s and 80s and shit like that, but like there's way better ways now. So, anyways, uh, list of 100. So, list of 100, the dream list, uh, as a thing we joke about, obviously, in network marketing is like go and write down every single person you've ever met your dog walker, your therapist, your doctor, your the gas station attendant every single person so that you can go and hit them up and tell them about your brand new business that you're fucking obsessed about. 
I'm not going to teach you that. I don't teach anybody that cold messaging. Don't ever do that. This is what is taught, right? Have you ever got a message on Facebook, like a friend from high school? It's like, Hey girl, Hey boy, Hey guy, haven't talked to you in like seven years, 15 years. I just started this new business and I instantly thought of you and that you'd be so great at this. Have you ever thought of a side hustle? Right? Oh my gosh. Right. We've all heard of that. Hosting parties. When I did this, it was probably, what, five, six years ago. I don't even know if that's really a thing anymore. I kind of caught the tail end of it. So, you know, I was like, you know, doing it the really hard way of, you know, opening my house up to uh, hundreds of people every single week. Um, spammy people, same thing. Constantly, constantly post about your product or service. We went over this already. Prospect everywhere you go. Basically talked about that. Asking people to share your offer on their social media. This comes up a lot too. So none of that stuff, this is reasons why people stop um, in network marketing. So if you're looking to make a couple hundred bucks a month and stuff, you can, right? Obviously in network marketing, um, but you need to understand that a lot of people that you are going to recruit are going to quit for these reasons, because this doesn't align with a lot of people, it doesn't align with me, it didn't feel good, I felt slimy, I felt like a used car salesman, and a lot of people do. Not saying that there isn't people that can be very much strategic about this and do it in a very empowering way, but for me, I never found that, and um, I was never given the time freedom. So for me, it was a no-go. With the amount I wanted, like, I'm so adamant. If you watch, you follow me on social media, I'm going to be creating some massive impact in this world. Uh, that has been my goal for years. I, you know, there's so much evil in the world that has so much money that I think we're in a, a dire need of being able to uh, put ourselves in a position where we can actually put the money in the hands of good, right? And that reminds me, I forgot a slide. We're going to go all the way back here before we go any further, because this is always my favorite part of my presentations here. I've been doing this quote for years now. If you guys have never read the book, You're a Badass at Making Money, go and pick it up right now or get it on Audible. It's even better on Audible. Let's all just take a moment here and process what we've heard. So I'm gonna show you guys some good stuff here, some really good stuff where this is gonna resonate with you a lot. Our world now more than ever needs as many compassionate, creative, big-hearted, conscious people to be as rich as possible so we can turn this mother around. I've loved this quote before the craziness of 2020, and it resonates with me so much more now because we're seeing so much corruption, chaos, and everything. Um, basically, the world turned upside down, and we're, we now know that basically uh, there's a lot of fucked up shit going on in the world, and I think it's everyone's responsibility. You have a phone, you have a laptop, you have a computer. I believe it's your responsibility to start a business online where you can actually start bringing in a lot of money so you can actually take part in turning this mother around. This is our planet. This is our children, our um, fellow humankind, right? We're all one. It's so crazy to think of what's going on behind the scenes that we still don't know about all the things. I, for me, I don't need to dive down any rabbit holes to know that the, we live in a sick and twisted world. All I need to know is that I have a voice and I have, uh, I'm privileged enough to have access to the internet. And that's good enough for me because I know that we have access to all information around the world, anything we wanna know at, the, at our fingertips and we can make a lot of money. And it has to come in an ethical way. So before I move any for, anywhere forward, I want you to, to know that this is what I stand for. If you are in this, watching this video just to make money and not do anything good with it, um, you can just stop watching because what I offer uh, for people and the, the value that I bring to people is it with the intention that people are going to do good with money and create impact in the world and empower other people to step up and be able to uh, empower one another that we need to. This is what we need to be doing. If you are a good person and you want good things to happen in this world, you want to live in a better world then you need to make this so much bigger than just yourself. It needs to be about being able to make a massive impact in the world because if you're cool just making a few hundred dollars for your family, um, that's totally cool and I totally respect that. 
But I, this video moving forward is for people that want to fucking make a massive impact in the world and, and know that they're going to, because I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So let's move forward. You guys pick up what I'm putting down here, right? If you're a shithead and you like want to do bad things with money, then you can just fucking beat it. You're not welcome here. Um, and I won't work with you. That's the really cool thing about what I'm going to show you guys here right now. Is we have the ability to choose who we want to work with. So I'm going to just click through those slides. We don't need them. So I am in high ticket sales, right? High ticket hybrid comp plans I, as what I leverage. Uh, like I said before, I'm a coach inside of Build Your Empire University. Uh, we teach people step by step how to become um, highly profitable uh, marketers in the online space, digital marketers. We show people basically how to build personal brands step by step, how to uh, empower other people, personal development. The, for me, that's so key. That's 80% of anything that you do. You need to be able to get inside your mind and get out of all your limiting beliefs because if you want to be able to manifest a lot of money in your life, it really doesn't matter anything that I show you here. If you are going to have um, a very closed mindset and um, not work on yourself and not be open to leveling up into the best version of yourself, then none of this is going to work for you anyway. So um, high ticket comp plans and why they work. So there's no de-ranking. So, so we're just going to kind of in comparison to what I showed you in network marketing, because I think the network marketing platform, like the whole compensation, the, the whole backside of it, how people can make money. I think it's a beautiful thing that we can work in teams and empower one another. Unfortunately, many of these businesses just don't pay enough for people to make any significant impact in the world. Um, so no de-ranking, no auto shipping, right? No, um, monthly payments that you have to make in a sense of like bringing in new products or anything like that. So um, none of that. Once you're in the business that I, I'm going to, that I talk about here, if you're it, you buy in one time and you're in forever. There's no um, 15, 15 to 20% of people, um, you know, quitting or failing at it because unless you go and send in a form saying you'd, you want to quit, you're in it for life. You you're in, you're in it for life. There's no, rank ranking of any sort or de-ranking of any of that kind of stuff so i love that because it takes away the stress for somebody that's brand new and like wants to learn how to do things properly and needs a little bit of extra time and um doesn't want to be just constantly tossing money away because i i if they're stressed in that sense, I think that it really takes away from people's ability to really step into what they're really, truly worth. So um, no monthly qualifications, no stocking up on products, no cold messaging, spamming, no sending out samples, no compl complicated comp plans. I'm going to show you guys really how basic it is here. Um, I make it really important, anybody that works with me, that they know their numbers, right? Um, like I showed you in like network marketing, the low ticket kind of stuff, nobody really knows their numbers. I did a post back in November of 2019 and asked people to spam me with their comp plans. And I asked them, how, much, how many people do I need to bring in to make $10,000? And not one person was able to answer, except for somebody in my team, <laughs> because I teach them uh, what the numbers are, because it's important numbers business it makes sense we need to know these things as business owners we need to know this kind of stuff no duplication of bad behavior um so nothing in the sense of right cold messaging spamming harassing people no binary requirements these two different legs where you need to like be building two things and then you make off make money off of the lesser leg none of that clarity on how to achieve your goals this is where we start this right off the beginning uh, we show people we do a 30-day um sprint where they can really lay out their goals and um, build a momentum of where they want to go. And that's in the sense of personal development and starting to build their online business and also getting sales at the same time. All of that stuff has to go hand in hand. Um, how they are going to map out creating time and financial freedom while um, learning how to create a massive impact at the same time. Empowering mentorship, basically just said that uh legacy residuals so you build your business and your business gets passed down if you have kids right it'll get passed down to your children so um it's something that will just keep going on and on and on that's your retirement plan and for what you're going to pass on to your kids um leverage your margins to generate and attract your perfect leads so this is the really cool thing and why thousands of people leverage high ticket sales in the online space specifically the business that i use um 
in the sense of rather than ever having to go and reach out to somebody and getting them to uh, cold messaging them or anything, we have the ability to actually uh, leverage our margins in a sense where we can attract people to come to us and ask to work with us, right? We can put out stuff like Facebook ads, Instagram ads, um, where it actually generate leads basically on autopilot coming to us all hours of the day people that want to work with us and then we get to qualify them to see if we want to work with them it's pretty it's insane but like if you're going to be building a business and you want and you're doing it for the right reasons you want to make sure you're working with the right people abundant team culture i think that kind of self-explanatory um learn the skills and strategies required to create long-term success right you don't want to be hustling like a dog every single day you want to learn how to um, properly build your business and uh, be able to create time for time and financial freedom at the same time. So we're going to teach you how to like in high ticket, we can teach people how to do this in a long term strategy where, you know, um, you maybe hustle for the first six, 12 months really, really hard or depending where, where you want to get at. And then you can uh, back off a bit, right? And be able to enjoy life a lot more and, and show other people that too, right? That like, life is about being in, enjoying it, but also being able to help other people. Um, duplication of good behaviors, right? The thing is people, uh, when they get into business, they mirror what other people do, right? That's what mentorship's all about is being able to, um, show people uh just a few steps ahead of like where um they're at right now how to do it so people model what you do they model what works so when we can model good behaviors we duplicate good behaviors so i'm just going to show you guys really quickly here how you can make ten thousand dollars with the business i use this is up to you guys what you want to do i'm i've given you guys a few different options here um, if you're in it for the for the big dollars and have a massive vision for um, what you want to do with this kind of money, this is um, something you definitely want to pay attention to. So we use it in a sense of uh, affiliate uh, direct sale, the hybrid, right? So it's high ticket, but it's also a direct sale kind of model with network marketing where you can actually make money off of other people as well. And that's where we create that positive duplication. So uh, I'm going to go middle of the line here. Uh, there's different ways to come into our business. We're going to go in with the middle of the line of a one-time investment of $5,000. I know that sounds like a lot of money. Um, we always, uh, in our business, we uh, show people how they can leverage other people's money to come into the business so they're not forking out their own money. Uh, you know, uh, I think it's 95% of self-made millionaires all leverage other people's money to become millionaires. So we're going to show you guys how to do that as well. I'm not going to show you in this video, but um, if this is something you're interested in, you can connect with me. We can kind of chat and see if um, you're somebody that I can work with. And then I can show you how, how to go about all of this fun stuff. But anyway, so we're going to go middle of the line here. Um, so $5,000 coming in. So if you wanted to make $10,000 right from the beginning, when you come into the business, you want to make $10,000, you need to make 14 sales uh, of $5,000. So there's different ways of doing it. Like I said, uh, you can do it a lot faster. It can be as little as like seven sales or you can, uh, uh, it varies, but it's in and around 14 sales. The average would be 14 sales to come in versus a hundred sales, hundred sales to make $10,000. So 14 sales. So the really cool thing about this too is once you've made your 14 sales, you put yourself in a position here where, I don't know if my mouse is working. Oh, it's not gonna work on this. So. We'll backtrack here for one sec. Your first two sales that you would make in our business, uh, your first two sales, you make $340 each if each person was coming in with the $5,000 investment. Uh, so $340 plus $340, $680. Then you move up in the business forever into the second position where you would make $680 off of each sale, right? And then after your 10th sale, you would move into the next position where you're making $1,020 and then it goes up, right? Plus a hundred sales, you're making $2,000 off of each sale. So you made your 14 sales. Now you're in the position where you're making a thousand dollars every single sale up until your 20th sale. So then it goes down, right? The further you go up in the comp plan, cause you can never go back down. 
uh, the less amount of sales you need to make to make $10,000. So once you hit uh, 100 sales, right? So with low ticket sales, you need to get 100 sales in one month to make $10,000 versus here. When you make 100 sales, you're in a position now where you're making $2,000 a sale. Um, so if you want to make $10,000, uh, you would need to make five sales to make $10,000. And so obviously there's ways that we can do this a lot faster too. We can make it where we're doing like, uh, two and a half sales and we're making $10,000. Uh, it's crazy, right? What would you rather be doing? Making a hundred sales or making five sales, hundred sales, five sales, hundred sales, five sales. You can see where the time freedom comes in here. Now I'm going to show you guys this as well. So this is where it has that whole network marketing kind of thing as well. So when you come in, um, I'm not going to go on to this too much because I didn't do that with the, the other network marketing because it does vary so much, but we keep it very basic. So say you brought in, um, in your first lane, your first two people you sold to your, um, your mom and uh, you started your online business and you sold to uh, Sally. She saw one of your ads and she was like, oh my God, this is insane. So she came in. And then she brought in three more people. So you made $300, $340 off your mom. Thanks mom. And then uh, Sally made $340 off of Sally and Sally got into business and she went and sold to three people inside of her online business through one of her ads. So you made now $340 off of each of those three people that she signed up. Okay. So, and then it goes on, right? It's an eight point system where it goes eight points down. So then, so you get into your second lane here. And now you're making $680 until you, right? It's $680 from your third to 10th sale until you make it to your 11th sale, then you go up. So you bring in John, John's on one of your ads and he came in and came in and made $680. Then he started his online business and he went in and got, got um, his neighbor wanted a business, uh, wanted uh, to get into the business. And then another guy that he had, um, brought in from the online business, went and signed up two more people. And then, so you made $680 off that guy, the $680 off the other guy and the other guy, and right, it goes on and on and on. So the thing here that is really cool, like why so many people leverage online, the online business, um, uh, on, leverage high ticket sales in the online business is for the fact that we can leverage automation because we have the margins here. So our business obviously has, it's been around for over 40 years. It's been proven for years to, to work. It's um, created so many millionaires, six figure, seven figure, eight figure people, um, creating massive impact. It puts us in a position where we can make a massive impact. It's if you want to make a few hundred dollars a month, then yeah, low ticket um, commissions obviously make sense for you. But if you want to be making, you know, thousands of dollars, you want say you want to make a hundred thousand dollars every single month, seventy thousand dollars every month. It's achievable in a business like this, right? It's very much achievable in a business like this. Um, what we can leverage though is things like Facebook ads, Instagram ads, and say it even cost you two hundred dollars to recruit somebody and you were just starting out, well, you still made $140. Now say it costs you $100 to bring in somebody and you've already made 100 sales. So your $100 investment in your ad, you made $1,900. Does that not make sense to you guys? It's always about the numbers. If you want to be able to be in full control of your financial abundance, you need to be in control of your numbers. Uh, we have the margins here. Unfortunately, with majority of businesses that are low ticket, they just don't have the numbers because if you're only making $100 off of a sale uh, and it costs you $80 or $200 to recruit somebody with your ad, you're not really making any money, right? The numbers have got to be there. So uh, if you guys have any questions about high ticket sales, I think it's, it's such an amazing opportunity for anybody that's brand new getting started, someone who's been in network marketing and is exhausted with not making the type of money they feel they deserve. Um, it's a great alternative uh, being able to step yourself up. I like to think of low ticket network marketing as someone's been in there for a while. It's kind of starting off like, it, like as a nine to five job where you'd start off at minimum wage and then uh, kind of like work your way up. We've already learned all the fundamentals of network marketing and you know, you've proven the concept, you've proven success, you've proven to have sales and stuff like that. 
why not step into here instead of making $100 a sale? Why not start making $2,000 a sale? Why not start making $4,000 a sale? Because most people that come into our business um, come in at a, a, a little bit higher of a one-time investment and the people that do want to build businesses with them do as well. And we make in and around $4,000 each sale. And so it's empowering for everybody and it gives us the ability to help our families, help our friends, help any cause that we ever want to experience life to its fullest potential because money doesn't buy happiness, but money does um, allow us to create better experiences in life. Uh, money is the source of being able to make an impact where we, if we don't have time to do so, we can do it financially. You look at things like today, like our healthcare system and all of that kind of stuff. There's, um, I live in Canada, so we're fortunate enough to have um, really good healthcare, but we have public healthcare and we have private healthcare. If you want to be treated differently and treated specially, you know, you want to go to private healthcare. Well, that costs money. Um, if you're American, you don't get that perk of uh, having your healthcare provided for you. And it's really, really expensive, right? And, and it's so common that people are getting sick, obviously, every single day and these crazy bills and, and people just can't get ahead. This is a way to get yourself out of that financial rut because we know every single day new things come up. The unexpected is always coming up. 2020 has been uh, basically a poster child of expect the unexpected. Um, if you only have one stream of income right now and you have more than one bill going out, you need to get really serious about generating another stream of income and a stream of income that's going to take you away from that stress feeling. I, there's so many people in the world right now that are so stressed out right now of what's to come with the unknown, are things closing down again? Is my uh, job even safe anymore? And is job security even secure anymore? And the thing is, we can be reactive or we can be proactive. And this gives you the opportunity to be proactive. Uh, there's so many options out there. Like I said, now um, getting into marketing and learning marketing skills is so important with anything you're going to do in the online space. Uh, if you guys are interested, I'm more than happy to chat with you guys about Build Your Empire University. We have an offer going on right now where people can come inside of our training platform, learn all of our marketing stuff, um, get access to it all, see how it all works. Uh, you can come in for $1. I know it's crazy for $1 for seven days. And then it's $99 a month after that. Uh, but we want people to really be able to see just how powerful the online space is, how powerful the blueprint that we've created is, how many people's lives we've significantly impacted by them following our system. Um, thousands and thousands of people's lives have been impacted and we're just getting started. And um, like I said, we don't work with everybody. So it's a matter of if we're all in alignment. So feel free to connect with me and uh, we can chat and see if this would be something for you. Like I said about the e-commerce stores as well, there, I know a great guy that um, has a great firm that's building stores for people where you can basically um, you know, make an investment and have your investment work for you if you're in that position. Um, cryptocurrency, Forex is all stuff that I only recommend if you have enough money coming in to already pay your bills, do all the things you want to do and you have extra money to start investing because for me uh it is uncertain in a sense where it can be a gamble things shift so significantly in um you know in that market that if you don't have enough money to cover your living expenses your family's living expenses and all of that i wouldn't recommend getting involved with it until you have yourself in a financially secure position um, low ticket, uh, network marketing is great. If you want to make a few hundred bucks a month and not feel stressed out. Right. Um, cause if you're trying to hit those higher targets, 10,000, 20, 40, 50, hundred thousand dollars a month, uh, it's, it's very challenging. It's a long, it's a long road to get there. If you want to learn the quickest way to be able to make as much impact financial time impact as possible, I've never seen anything better than this. Um, and 
I'm here to help people along the way, but they have to want it as well. So I'm going to leave you guys at that. If you have any questions at all, feel free to connect with me and uh, we'll go from there. So cheers to 2020 and what else is to come? We're at, I can't remember what day it is, July 29th, and it has been quite the ride. So I'm going to leave you guys at that. And if you are ready to start changing your life, change your family's life, change the world, let's fucking do this. Take care, you guys.